Good morning, everybody. This is Rona Lavelle with Tough Daddy. We're about to go to David's Fish Market. Uh, it's going to be a nice time in there because we haven't been in there in a while. And we felt like seafood today. So uh, we'll see you in a few. came out of David's fish market as you can see I got a fork in my hand and I give it forks up you know thumbs up instead of thumbs up forks up anyway uh both Ronan and I have been here before the food is absolutely delicious the customer service is always amazing I actually grew up on Dave's fish market and me it was more of Hickson's because of the area but uh where I was living but when I heard about David's Fish Market, I started going here myself and really enjoyed the seafood here. Um, they have a 4.7 star. I mean, I'm going to start off the bat with a nice five star because the service was incredible inside. The lady was just very helpful. What a bargain. It was only $37 for everything. Seafood we got for two. We got um, a couple of cohogs. We got a couple. We got a, a half dozen of... Uh, Clam cans, uh, two twenty ounce bottle of soda, all for thirty seven dollars. You couldn't go wrong with that. I just can't wait to share the experience with all of you. Yeah, me neither. So with that said, uh, we're gonna start to get and into Dave's eating. Dave's Fish Market is located right here on Dave Street in Forbes. It's on the corner of Davis and Cherry. Yep, two fifty seven Davis Street. So. Uh, if you're in the area, definitely go down. They got excellent seafood on Friday. Uh, uh, you can get fish and chips, clams. You can get uh, scallops. I mean, it's just so much stuff in there. Uh, and it smells so great when you walk inside. So, you know, support your local establishment. But you know, smell vision It's smelling good in the car. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So, with that said, we're going to start chowing down. Start off with some nice clam cakes <laughs> those are clam cakes they're good size though aren't Look they at nice hot and steamy oh yeah look at that look at that steam just coming off mm. so mm. delicious mm. got a nice flavor Full of clams. Oh. For some people, Friday's a uh, fish day. And I love fish, so I'm not against having fish on Fridays. The dough and the amount of clams is just perfect and, like always, very delicious. And it's always a good time, especially around Lent. You can always get seafood cheaper. So good. Look at the size of that. And if you come here, you might want to either call them and have them put some of these on the side for you, or come here early enough to get them because I can tell you from experience a Dave's Fish Market these uh, clam cakes they go out quick mm -hmm. I called this morning after I got out of work with Tuffy mm -hmm. and uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and they're like yeah we're already open we're already, we're already fr uh, frying the, the stuff and Come on down. And their clam chowder is also very delicious. I've had it there before. We didn't get any today. That's another thing they go out of a lot too. I mean, seriously, it is so good. This is a little slice of paradise. Oh, 
nice, warm, steamy, stuffy or stuffed coal hog, depending on where you're from. I mean, just look at this. Look at the size of this. Look at how much they pack it. Now that's a coal hog. Oh. And these, they go out of too real quick. So definitely, I mean, if you come down to big fish market, which I hope you do, uh, make sure you try these. The clam cakes. Look at the inside. Uh -huh. Look at mm, it smells smell so it. good. Uh, if smell vision ever happens, these guys are going to be going nuts. Uh, nice Portuguese stuffy. Mm, I can taste that with the red course pepper. Mm. What well, I was around here between Florida and New Bedford called Portuguese hot sauce. Mm. Breading is just right. The clams. You know, Dave's is open during the week. But only on Fridays you can get the seafood, uh, like the fish and chips, seafood platter. It's normally only on Fridays when you can get that stuff. Absolutely delicious. Again, the breading, the spices, the amount of clam that you're getting. Mm. That's just amazing. Anyway, plate. Oh, just look at this. Nice golden fry. Oh. Perfect. Clam. Taste the freshness. So absolutely delicious. I mean, just look at these scallops. So perfectly breaded with the light batter. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very hot, steamy. This is the, uh, the shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, thank you. Oh, 
And everything here is per cooked so perfectly from the fries to the fish to the garlics, the shrimp, to the clams. And you feel that? It's a whole clam, not the clam strip. Bellies and all. Mm. And I don't care what anyone says, the belly of the clam has the most flavor. <laughs> about this city there's such a, ver uh, a variety of different restaurants different uh, foods and, and cultures and cultures I mean inside Four River is the melting pot of America you have different cultures, you got different nationalities, and you get to try their their foods and stuff like that. I've had Polish food here, I've had Greek food here in Fall River. I've had uh, Portuguese, Cambodian, Portuguese, Chinese, Chinese, you name it. Italian. Yep. Cape Verdean, Jamaican, Puerto Rican, or. Oh. Puerto Rican, as they would say in Puerto Rico. Mexican too. Yep. And pretty much just about all the Latino uh, cultures. Dominican. You can, uh, you can find here in the city. For restaurants. And then there's uh, some that are actual like Spanish, as in Spain Spanish. And here in the city, when we say Portuguese, we're really talking about like the Portuguese. The Azores. Yeah, we're talking about the Azores. That's what a good majority of it is. But there are some that are also like mainly in Portugal type food. And uh, others that are like a mix of both Azorean and Portugal. And then you have the Brazilian. Oh yeah, we've got Brazilian too. There's a Brazilian place over on East Main Street. There's also one uh, up the Flint on Pleasant Street, I think it is. Mm -hmm. You can see Roman's still eating. I finished my portion. This food, or as they were saying, both Spanish and Portuguese, comida, is very delicious. Delicioso. Ah. Yep, the comida is. La comida deliciosa. I mean, if you're watching this and you're from Fall River, or maybe any of its neighboring towns and you haven't been to Dave's Fish Market, you definitely got to come down on Fridays. Try their fish and chip. Try their uh, seafood platter. Try their stuffed coal hogs, a.k.a. stuffies. Uh, try their clam cakes. Try everything that's on the menu. I'll just try everything. You definitely would not be disappointed. You'll definitely have a full belly. 
you'll be very satisfied and it's uh, cheap good quality home cooked food that you can afford to feed either yourself or you and your family so again yeah I mean just come down definitely worth the visit definitely worth the visit mm -hmm. oh yeah uh, on Google, it gives them what was it? I think it was four point seven. Yep, four point seven. Mm. We're bumping it up to five. I am definitely bumping it up to five, just because the customer service every time we come in uh, is always amazing. It's great customer service. Uh, very friendly people. It's an open, clean space. Uh, and then the food on top of it's always amazing too. So definitely five stars from us. Uh, you know, just with all of that said, like always, you know, we just want to thank everybody for always tuning in and watching all of these episodes. Please leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this episode and where you'd possibly like to see us go next. And we would do our best to go to that location, not only try its food, and give our honest opinion on the food, but also on the establishment and the customer service. Make sure to smash that like. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It is free, so hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be the first that is notified when a video like this one comes out. Don't forget, we are also over on Facebook and Instagram now. So thank you to everybody who has already uh, click like and follow over there as well and if you haven't please make sure to visit both the facebook and instagram give us a like and follow on that and don't forget we have the food lover review show merch head on over there check it out get yourself or a loved one or family you know something cool today you can get yourself something cool like this hat that i'm always wearing or even a hoodie you or something wearing like some of our previous episodes remember the clothing is in uh several different colors you can choose the color that you want and it'll come in with this logo on it the food lover review show logo and for all you coffee drinkers and or tea drinkers like we're always saying we do have coffee mugs as well as travel mugs with all that said we just want to thank you again from the bottom of our hearts thank you it means a lot all of your love and support and we'll see all of you on the next review